like I said, we're going to be continuing with Moonstone Island, which I haven't played for a little while. And then the time before, the last time I played it, I also hadn't played it for a while. So, yeah, I'm not, I'm not super fresh on the Moonstone Island stuff. But, as I've said, it's a game that I really, really enjoyed. Um, enjoy. Present tense. Um, I just, there's a lot of games on my list to be played. So, that's okay, though. As you can see, I'm not super far into the game. Um which you know that that's okay though that's fine i'm just i'm taking it slow i'm taking it slow that's you know that's totally cool so i want the i mean the, they're pretty much at the same point it doesn't auto save first thing in the morning and then i would have manually saved like it's like a minute after but yeah it's fine so yeah spring 19 year one so not super far there we go now, if you're not familiar with Moonstone Island, um, I did explain it briefly earlier, but I will briefly explain it again. I changed the category over, right? Moonstone Island, yes. Um, so, Moonstone Island is essentially like, uh, Pokemon Creature Collectum testing. Oh, your, your, your name? It, yeah, it's still gray. <laughs> did you try and, like, change it back and it didn't, it didn't go? Presumably. Um, yeah, it's, um, it changed, so it changed in all three. Oh, now it's back to red, at least in, um, the dash. Oh, yeah, it looks like it changed back. Uh, on mobile, it lets me change my color, change this, no, oh, there you go, yeah, yes. I think it just takes, it takes, like, a, a bit to sort of update, but yeah. Interesting, weird, Twitch is weird. Uh, right, sorry, so Moonstone Island, um, it's like, uh, like, sort of Pokemon-esque, uh, creature collect -em all and battling, but with, um, deck-building combat and, like, life and- life sim and farming sim elements as well. Um, you are an alchemist in training. Um, I don't know if our- I don't know if we know our character's name. I do think they have a name, but I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's been mentioned to us, but we're an alchemist in training, and basically in order to complete your alchemist training, you have to spend a year away from home. Um, so that's sort of the, like, overarching quest, is to spend a year away from home. Um, and these are our spirits. So we can have a team of, uh, three spirits. I only have two of them walking out with me, but we have three spirits. Um, I gotta remember how to do all the controls, also. Um, I want the watering can. Um, I'm just gonna water all my crops. Classic farming sim stuff. Um, but yeah, so in combat with, uh, wild, untamed spirits, um, is when the, that's when the deck building comes into play. So you'll see that when we end up, uh, in combat at some point. Um, spirits have different types. Um, so the, uh, that, this one directly behind me is called Sheep. Um, I believe a portmanteau of, uh, Sheep and Imp, I think. Uh, so they're a fire type spirit. And then the other two on my team, um... Fox and I don't remember the name of the other one, um, but they're both Earth-type spirits. So, different spirits have, um, a different, different weaknesses. Um, one is, one of their weaknesses is determined by the type that they are, and then the other weakness, I think, is random? I think it's random. Can I reach that to... Oh, do I have to have my... Oh, I think they're just not ready, otherwise they'd... I think they're just not ready, otherwise it would tell me I could harvest, so that's fine. So yeah, uh, spirits have types, um, types have weaknesses. Um, these are all earth spirits in my barn, um, for the time being. Um, how do I feed, did it, did it work? I think it did. Yeah, it did. Okay, cool. Um, so we gotta feed our spirits every day. These are, this is where our, like, spare spirits live, essentially. I do not remember what, like, any of my quests are also. How do I, uh, qu journal, here we go. Um, some of these quests I'm, like, not gonna get to for a while, or ever, very possibly, but certainly not for a while. Um, okay. Yeah, find all the memory shards, restore the mirror. That's a big quest. Get these rare fish. That's, I'm not, that's, no. Um, sell different spring seeds? I, collect seeds, collect spring seeds from the outer islands. I haven't been to the outer islands yet. So, that feels like a not- a not for right now quest spirit poop um so when the spirits are in your barn you saw that some of them had left some clay for me uh that is that is that is the spirit poop they uh they leave different things for you um depending on the type of spirit that they are so earth spirits leave clay 
Um, but we have to sell one of each of the materials, um, so that's fine. Tame a Psychic Spirit, turn in Research and Science Center, wait for a letter from Zed. I got a Tame a Psychic Spirit, that's fine. Sell stones, I just haven't, I could do that, okay, that's fine. Craft a broom, spend a year away from home. So, we have also encountered some, like, um, Stardew-esque bundles, um, that, um, oh, hi! That, um, we've had to, like, leave some, some certain things in, and then we have, like, a big boss battle, basically. You alright, baby? You cool? You're like, it's five o'clock, time for you to leave your office and hang out with me. Not always. Not always, baby. You okay? Go see, go see, what, go see what Jack is up to. Maybe. Or just, okay, well, he's here. You can stay, I can, I can play and, like, give you some pets if you want. Alright, I want to sell, can I sell some of these? Maybe? Okay, bye! Sell, I want to sell 20 stone for the quest, because I'm not, like, trying to build anything in particular right now, so it's probably, it's probably cool. Okay, cool. Done. Quest updated, so what do I do now? Oh, that's it. That's it. It's done. It's done? It's done, I guess? Oh, yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. All right. So, wait. I want to see the map. Now. This is the main island. It's called Moonstone Island. Uh, like the name of the game. Moonstone Island. Um, Moonstone is a rare, like, material, um, that you use for special magical stuff. So, this island is fine. This island is, like, uh, safe, as it were. Whereas the, the other islands have wild spirits on them and stuff, um, and the further out you go, the stronger the spirits get. Um, so these sort of nearby islands are, like, a little bit safer, and then the further out you go, the stronger the spirits get, and there are also, uh, danger, like, um, sort of, um, environmental dangers, um, that, that can, uh, that can... You can you can get stuff to negate them, um, but we don't have those yet. So we're trying to avoid we're we're avoiding those islands. But we're also not strong enough for the stronger islands right yet right now. Anyway, so that's fine. Um, so it looks like we haven't finished exploring this island technically. Um, so we could go have a look there potentially. Um, these little like star symbols and then a dotted line are a like teleporter. Um, so it just shows you like where it links up to. Um, but these are all, like, outer islands, so we don't, you know, we don't really want to be involved with that. We haven't used this teleporter yet, though. So we could come down to this island, discover the rest of it technically. There is also land here, it looks to be. I feel like I... See, I, I'm confused. I'm, I feel like I did this. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. It's fine. All right, so, yeah. Are, is that what we're doing then? Are we... Are we, so we could go directly south, and we would hit this island, or, well, in theory. Um, do we maybe want to do that? I think so. Did I do all the stuff I need to do at home? I think so. Um, this bar down here is our stamina slash health, um, so if we sort of, if we run out of stamina, it ends the day, but also if we are getting, like, attacked by something, that, it depletes the same, it, that's also stamina, so... Spring 17th. There we go. Also told me you recently uh, hatched your own baby spirit. Congrats, you're basically a parent now. Um, you'll need this. It's a stall for feeding your spirits, but never needs refilling. Oh, okay, wait. But this is the one I haven't opened. Oh, okay. But that's... Oh, right, okay. Uh, yeah, you might not have room for all your spirits. I've made a room at the science center. Turns out that using a proprietary technique I just invented, you can turn spirits into a sort of compressed space-saving goop. <laughs> Um, unfortunately I can't let you know about the process because it's not patented yet. Um, okay, so if you manage to catch more spirits, then you can fit in your barn, just send them to me, yeah. And then you can pick them up whenever, so that's good. Okay, but I have mail, it says. But I have, an oh, Alchemist Guild Spring first? Why haven't I opened this? Okay, fine. <sighs> Congratulations on your first day as a new alchemist. Please remember that you are now a representative of the Alchemist Guild. The following misdeeds will lead to disciplinary action or expulsion from the guild. Giving flying equipment to untrained citizens, throwing spirits off islands, eating spirits, forming an army of spirits to overthrow our government. Good luck with your year of training. Excellent. Good to know. Cool. Fine. Perfect. <sighs> Magic mushroom seeds. We love to see it. Hello. It's Cleo. I would love a hobby. 
I doubt I have the time for one. Fair enough. All right. So the way that the socialization works, it's pretty simplified. So there are three different actions that you can take with varying levels of success. Fluffbox's ability actually boosts my chance of success uh, for social interaction. So that's nice. I'm just going to do the regular old chat. Um, no, stop. I didn't mean to press that. Okay. Um, I'm not really trying to like romance anyone yet or anything like that. Um, I'm just, I'm just, just building friendships. Um, here's Asano. Hello. The basement's never looked better. Here's a little cash as a thank you. Unrelatedly, the dish of the day today is really good. <laughs> you giving me payment and then suggesting that I spend my payment on at at your establishment. <laughs> oh no, they all failed. Oh no. <laughs> That's sad. Okay. See you tonight. What, will you? What's tonight? <laughs> okay. Um, all right, so I'm actually just gonna move a little bit further west and then fly south. Because it's kind of a pain to maneuver the balloon so i'd rather just head like straight south if i can now the balloon is what we uh use to fly because i don't have uh i don't have any other flying tools at present do i remember how to do this oh it's like this do i need to hold it i can't remember i don't think i need to hold it but i'm gonna hold it anyway just just to be safe so it uses stamina to do this um which is part of the the benefit of um other flying things is that you fly quicker and therefore don't use as much stamina. So if you run out of stamina, you fall and die. <laughs> Essentially, you don't fall and die, but you fall and then it's and then it, it's done. So yeah, that's fine though. That's cool because we're only going to the nearby islands, so we don't need like loads of stamina. So we're cool. Um, once we land on the island, the rings around the map should indicate like the the level of the the, the spirits roughly, um, and whether they're gonna be, like, too strong for us or anything. Um, those should be okay, I think. Um, so when there are crops, um, out in the world, you can just harvest them, or you can harvest seeds from them and, uh, plant them yourself. Um, but it's, like, the 19th of the season, and honestly, I've, like, I've harvested, I've farmed a lot, so I'm not, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna harvest them rather than get seeds. Um... Hello. We're going to battle. So I'll show you what the battle's like. Um, like I said, it's it's um it's deck building combat, basically. So the spirits each have uh, a deck that you can sort of curate. Uh, and then in battle it you pull from the decks of all of the spirits on your team. Um The way that the combat works is uh, pretty standard. You're trying to get the HP down to zero to sort of banish the spirits. Um when you attack them, though, um, initially they have a sort of, like, armor rating, um, which you, uh, want to try and get rid of. It reduces the damage that they take significantly, reduces it, um, if they still have armor on. So there are different cards that you can do to remove armor, um, which I'm gonna do this first, which applies burn and removes armor. We love to see it. Um, and then this one deals damage and then removes armor. So you'll see it's supposed to deal 14 damage, but because they still have an armor rating, it'll do less damage. Um, although it should still... Yeah, it does less based on the amount of armor. So actually, it sh it, yeah, it was still enough to knock them out. But that's the way the combat works. Um, obviously, longer combats are more in-depth than that. Um, but yeah. Um, so there are different... Um, they're called like talismans, I believe. There are different like items that you can get to upgrade cards, remove cards, or add cards. Also, when your spirit levels up, you have the option to um, add cards as well. Oh, and Chris, welcome in. This game is everything to you. No, stop. I'm not trying to fly. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, let me not hold the balloon because I don't want to accidentally... Um... Well, welcome in. I love this game. I'm not super far into it because I just have had a lot of other games, but it's actually insane how much time I've spent. Well, heck yeah. Nice. Um, what's your favorite spirit? I can't guarantee that I'll know the spirit that you're talking about. Again, <laughs> yeah, I'm not that far into the game, but uh, yeah, who's your favorite spirit in the game? Um, yeah, so the stuff on here is like is is pretty low level. So yeah, we're level like 13 and 14, and this is level three. Do I have one of these? Cause I could just like I could just tame them. Is it um is flax flat yeah feed to wild spirits to tame them yeah 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 let's do that. Do I have to how do I do it? Oh I right click. Yeah there we go. 
Don't remember all the controls. I'm getting used to it. Um, can I, should we call you Owen, by the way? Should we just call you Owen? Let me know. Gameplay-wise, Ribite. Visual-wise, Honkshu. Yeah, uns I, haven't <laughs> I haven't heard of either of those, which is unsurprising. But I, I, I sort of, I can get, I can get the vibe. I get the vibe. That's fair. Um, you're good either way. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, well, yeah. So, with, um, the spirits, instead of battling them, you can, uh, you can tame them. Kev, 900 plus hours in. Oh my gosh, that's so many. You're a pro. Let's send it to the science center, only because I don't like it looks it looks creepy and i don't like that <laughs> um so yeah instead of battling them you can tame them so there are different uh crops that you can feed them to to tame them um to fill up that the green heart meter that was there once you've filled it they like start the process and there is a chance for that to fail but um generally that's how you tame spirits to add them onto your team um so yeah i have upgrade points to spend oh well we better go do that i do not remember what anyone's deck is doing though <laughs> um view cards and stats so yeah i it's been a little while since i've played this so i don't remember what anyone was doing <laughs> um okay what three random attack cards um so obsessed with the decks oh my god heck yeah nice do you have a goal to reach a nice round that uh, thousand hours um that's a good question um okay what if we all right um yeah we've got some one twos a couple of refresh a lot of bashes i think i've also got is that in this deck yes this one focus plus um don't think i'll be stopping anytime soon well well fair enough fair enough uh yeah so this is this is a really useful card reduce the cost of all tackle cards in your deck to zero for the rest of combat very useful have a whole spreadsheet I'm working with. Ooh, like with useful information that you're tracking and stuff. Um, sorry, yes, sorry. Well, I was, don't remember if I finished the sentence. We do have an ad coming up, um, but I won't do any like, I won't do I won't do anything during the ad. Well, I might look at the upgrades, but I have to refamiliarize myself with the decks. So, yeah, as long as it's fun, no reason to stop. Exactly, it is a really good game. Focus Plus is quite good, I would say. Honestly, it feels really overpowered. So. This is upgraded. That's what the plus is. Um, so focus originally just r reduces the cost of all tackle cards in your hand to zero. Um, but then as soon as you upgrade it, it's all the tackle cards in your deck for the rest of combat. Like it's just it's it's very overpowered. <laughs> tackle is just like a basic attack. But like if you can get it for free, then like free attacks, you know. I don't know. Sorry, my water bottle. I made a noise while I was sipping. All right. So that's fine. Yeah. Okay. And I've got a couple of like different kind of draw things. Um, yeah. Put one card from your hand on top of your draw pile. It costs zero till played. Put a random attack card from your draw discard into your hand. It costs zero. Stuff like that. Um, so that's fine. Okay. Somewhat mid tier in terms of uh, meditate talisman urgency. Based on my spreadsheet. Is Meditate Talisman the one that upgrades? I don't remember the names of them all. Um, because it's it's I haven't put a whole lot of time in it and it's also been a while. Um Is that I think presumably though? Presumably? Like it's it's not like the highest on the list of Is the upgrade right, 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 okay. So you're saying it's sort of mid tier in terms of it urgency to upgrade it, right? Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Alright, so we'll level up Fluff Ox. Um now, I'm going to upgrade... I'm just going to upgrade the vitality, I think. Yeah. So you can see there are four different stats. So whenever you level up, you get uh, a, a point to pick. Um, actually, hang on, because we're, we're in an ad. I'll explain it after the ad finishes. Because um, I have cards like Crush, Earthquake, and Fallen Foe, which I feel is way more urgent to be upgraded. That's fair enough. Okay, that makes sense. Um, I don't know that I remember what Earthquake or Crush do. Is Earthquake just, um, multi-hit? Like, it hits multiple targets? I, I know what Fallen Foe is. Um, but yeah, I don't think I know Crush or Earthquake. But fair enough, fair enough. Um, so, welcome back from the ads, friends. Thank you for sticking through the ads. I appreciate that. 
Um, so when you, uh, when you level up a spirit, you have, uh, a point to put into a stat to upgrade it. So you've got armor, which, like I said, reduces damage from attacks. Um, you've got speed, which, um, the speed of your team and the speed of the enemy team, it determines who goes first in the battle, unsurprisingly. But it also determines the strength of the move bash, which is the default move for removing armor. So you can increase the power of bash as well by increasing speed vitality is just your 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 health points and power is just attack damage um so you can see i'm trying to keep things like pretty even uh for for fluff ox at least earthquake is like the air silent flip side of water balloon basically deal aoe damage and reduce armor i don't remember what water balloon does either <laughs> but but aoe damage and reduces armor okay got you yeah got you um yeah i i i don't know how many hours i have into this but I not loads. I'm on spring 19th of my first year for reference. Um, but thank you for explaining. Yeah, AoE. Okay. I figured with a name like Earthquake that it was probably AoE. Um, but it reduces armor as well. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna upgrade the vitality for now. Um Fury Globes plus tackle hindsight. Have a good lurk, Corporal Kai. You can tell I'm going insane in this game. I mean, listen, like good good for you, you know. You live in your life. Hang on, I need to move the mat on my desk. It's annoying me. There we go. So, hindsight. Look at the top two cards of your discard pile. Choose one to add your hand. I don't think I want that. I do have a couple of card draw things going on, but I don't want more. Tackle. Tackles are nice because, like, once I get the thing out, it's, like, free attacks. Or I could take this upgraded Fury of Blows. Seven earth damage three times is a lot more than seven damage. Hindsight is just gross. Gross as in bad, as in you don't like it. Or gross as in too good. I don't think that's what you mean. <laughs> um, oh yeah, fair. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I wasn't, yeah, I wasn't. I'm between tackle and fury of blows, but it feels like a waste to grab a new tackle. I might take the upgrade of fury of blows. I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna take the fury of blows. Um, I don't know. All right, let's look at what Sheep's doing. Um... Okay, yeah. I was going for a lot of, like... Um, well, burn is useful. Um, bur both the card and the status effect. Um, so what have I got? Draw the top card from your deck, reduce energy. Yeah, okay, that's fine. <sighs> Discard cards to gain energy. That's fine. You have blind blow already. Do it. E uh, yes. I guess, see, I guess I do. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I do. I don't know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, deal three damage three times, seven fire damage to three random enemies. Um, and then, yeah, some bash, flamethrower. Follow through has been useful, actually. That's, like, the best card for upgrade. I don't know if mine, I don't think mine's upgraded yet. No, it's not. What happens if it's upgraded? How do I check? Does it not exhaust if I upgrade it? If I click on it, will it tell me? No. Well, that's okay. Um, all right. So, yeah, torch, tackle... Perception is just a card draw. Okay, that's fine. Oh, you draw two cards instead of one. Okay, cool. Uh, level up. How are we looking here? Power is higher right now. Armor, speed, vitality. Let's increase... Armor. Retreat? No. I don't want that. Deal 42 fire damage to one target and yourself? Oh my god. It's self-destruct. <laughs> and it, Oh no. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this decision. I don't want foresight. I don't want retreat. And now I can skip, to be fair. Drawing two cards and uh, zero their energy. You can easily get a blind blow plus chain reaction. That would be cool. That would be useful. And now, okay, hmm. 42 damage to one target and yourself. That's that's so much. But then I knock my I'll knock myself out with that. Unsurprisingly. That's the point. The ice in the name, it's explode. Foresight and hindsight is like my two's favorite. That's fair. <laughs> um ah, this is scary. I don't want I don't think I want explode. It's too scary. It's too scary. I don't think I want it. It feels too risky. I'm not gonna take it. I'm not gonna take it. If the other members of my team were, like, really, like, pulling their weight and I could just sacrifice Shimp in that way, like, then maybe? Mumbleweed doesn't have an upgrade, but I'm still gonna look at their thing. I'm not- I'm not- I don't think I'm planning on keeping Mumbleweed in the party. Their- their deck's just kind of, like, a hodgepodge right now. 
Not that the other two's decks are, like, particularly curated, but still. Okay, fine. Cool. Fine. All right. We're out of the talisman. Um, what time is it? 1.40? Okay, cool. What time is it? IRL. 5.24. Okay. I didn't... It took a while to get to Moonstone Island, because I was, uh... I was doing a lot of stuff in Little Guardsman. And then I had to... I had problems getting the save, so... Can I run? I don't remember... Ah! That's fine. <sighs> well, listen, I'm just gonna... Tap away three targets! Okay, but what if instead... You didn't do that. I know that I could have, um... Uh, what do I want to do? Draw the top card from your deck and resist injury cost of zero. A random attack card from your draw pile or discard all ancient hand and cost zero this turn. Alright, well let's do blind blow first, because we might draw into a bash. I did not. I drew a free tackle. In which case, I'm going to draw into mastermind and try and draw one of the things that removes armor, which I did. Ah, and it's super effective, so it does ec okay well it, that, that ended the battle it's fine okay i found a water spirit egg hell yeah i really like the combat music also bumping tunes can i run in this? can i sprint yes does it use stamina N seemingly not doesn't look like it went my stamina went down oh my god two treasure maps on this uh on this island so far nice no, I looked at a couple treasure maps before, and they just confused me, and I didn't, I couldn't really tell how to work out, like, what, where they were, or, like, what was happening. Oh my god, a sand castle. Hi! Sand crashel, sorry. My apologies. Bumpin' tunes. Regen! Hidden treasure! <gasps> Fun! Chance that rocks on water islands drop coins while Sand Crashel follows you. That's cool. Um, let's uh let's tame the spirit. Yay! Uh this one can go in the spirit barn. Yeah. I was just thinking because I just got because I got the egg. Um, and I would uh, but I can just I can just build a stall for that. That's fine. I want to hatch the egg to see what spirit it is. Um, alright. Did I get all the stuff on here? I think so. Now, let's go that way. The west. East. West. West. Let's... Hello. I don't remember what spirits I have. I also don't know how you check what spirits you have. I don't know how you check, so... One step ahead? Was that? Oh, I did that. Did I do that? Oh, it, it's a level up I got at one point. That's fine. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's do this. That's so much flex flower. Love to see it. See? Bump and tunes. Float. Move to the science center. Because I don't have any room in my barn now. But that's fine. That's cool. Do, 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 do. All right. Are we ready? Yes. Here we go. Oh. oh, no, go this way. There we go. It's because uh, my mouse was to the other side of the character. That's okay. All right, here we go. I don't think I have to keep holding the mouse, but again, I'm going to keep holding it just to be safe because I don't want to fall to my death. Or even not to my death. I just don't want to fall, period. Here we go. New. All right, so the spirits on this island are a bit stronger than on the last island. Um, oh, I've been given a shout out. That's suspicious. No, not really. It's not suspicious. It's just because it pops up in the activity feed. I think I always find that funny. <gasps> Two spirits. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, I know I have both of these because I just got them. So we're gonna do an actual. We're gonna do an actual fight now. All right. Now, how are we? All right, I'm going to do this one with the burn because it's got more HP and I'm going to do the two one two pluses on this. Oh, I had a bash. I could just I could just bash it. Well, no, it's fine. 
We'll do it this way. Because burn burn hits through um armor. Um, so that's fine. Yeah, end turn. Okay, Riptide, three targets. Ow. It's fine. Do um batch to remove the last of that armor. I forgot to say when you remove when you reduce their armor down to zero, they go into this like dazed state. Um so they like skip a turn essentially, and they take extra damage um for that turn, I believe. Um now how are we doing? We've got two energy and we want to do 31 damage. A 10 fire damage three times is not 31, but it is it should be enough with the boost. Also, if it's not, we have consume, but it should be enough with the with the boosted. So yeah, there we go. Mumbleweed leveled up. I better go into my medallion and yeah, I have upgrade points to spend. I know. I knew it. I knew I did. Hello. Level up. All right. Now, well, okay. I'm just going to do armor so that everything is seven then. Armor. All right. Bite plus, Fallen Foe plus, Fancy Spin plus. All right. Discard one card, draw two cards. Hmm. Maybe. Fallen Foe plus, 14 yards damage if the target is banished, refill your energy. That's more useful in, like, longer combats, and particularly combats with multiple enemies, so that you can use it on one enemy and then still have an enemy to fight <laughs> with the extra energy that you get. It's not useful in a, you know, if you're knocking them all out in one, for example. Um, and then Bite plus, that's a pretty standard card, but that's fine. Okay. Discard one card, draw two cards. Deal 14 earth damage, if you charge Spanish, refill your energy. Deal three damage three times. Hmm. And so I have these symbols on them sometimes, I don't know what those mean. Like, those are the symbols, that's the symbol for speed, I think, and that's the symbol for one of the other stats, I think. But I don't know why they're on the cards sometimes, and like, this one doesn't have one. Is it because these are a ta I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Discard one card, draw two cards. I am a sucker for a card that's already upgraded, but they're all already upgraded, so that's not a factor in this. Discard one card, draw two cards. Or I could just skip. No, I'm just gonna take Fancy Spin Plus. It's fine. Okay, fine. Not gonna overthink it. I mean, I, I did overthink it, but I, I'm not gonna overthink it anymore so yeah there's just a little bit of this island that's like undiscovered but oh there's a tout there's a thing over there oh i don't have any bridges i don't think darby welcome in thank you so much for the raid <laughs> i saw you give me <laughs> i saw you give me a shout out before <laughs> and i was like that's suspicious welcome in darby how was your stream what were you up to today um thank you so much for trash the community gang if you're not already following darby go check out their stuff Delightful streamer. Delightful person. Lovely place to be. And I appreciate the raid. Um, also, uh, uh, Lanya? Did I say that right? I'm sure I've asked you before. And I keep, I forget. I don't remember. But please correct me on the pronunciation of your username if I said it wrong. But welcome in. Darby, of course, welcome. What were you up to on your stream? How did it go? In case people get lost. Yeah, no, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, we do that too. Um, gang, if anyone's new here, it's nice to meet you. Uh, my name is Haley. My pronouns are she, her. L Lanny is fine, or Laney? Is it Laney or Lanny? Let me know. Um, but thank you for letting me know. Um, yes, my name is Haley. My pronouns are she, her. I am a variety streamer. I stream uh, different indie games, cozy games, art, co-working, lots of different stuff. Um, today is Variety Friday, which just means I play more than one game. <laughs> um, earlier, we were playing a game called Little Guardsman. Now we're playing a game called Moonstone Island, which is an indie game that released uh, last year. Um... It's basically like collectible Pokemon-esque spirits meets deck building combat meets life slash farming sim um, game. And I really, really like it. Uh, and I haven't gotten to play it as much as I would like to because I just have had too many games on my list. So I'm, I'm back to Moonstone Island for the first time in a little while. Um, Laney, but either way is good. Well, no, I want to pronounce it the way that he would want it to be pronounced the most. So Laney, Laney, right? Excellent. Thank you for letting me know. Uh, and thank you, thank you, uh, friends, for coming along with the raid. Did music and attempting edit that didn't work. Well, I'm sorry that it didn't work, but hopefully you've at least, like, gained some insight. 
or on on it and you at least you gave it a go so that's the important thing but heck yeah if anyone needs to raid and run particularly darby if you got a d stream i feel that we're very lurk friendly if you're if you're a lurker um we we love that we love the lurkers um but yeah we're just chilling with some moonstone island um we've been going for a little while today actually four and a half hours so far um i do normally stream for a bit longer on fridays because i am doing lots of games um but yeah if you have any questions about the game or about me or about the streams or whatever else feel free to ask away um but particularly about the game because i know that not everyone is i'm doing the wrong thing i know not everyone is familiar with this game <laughs> unsurprisingly so describe this game as the old school neopets handheld critters with some pokemon pixel vibes i'm not super familiar with like neopets stuff but i i can see it i can see it um but yeah the because i i so i'm a, it's probably pretty evident from a lot of the parts of the stream but i'm a big fan of pokemon um grew up with pokemon still love pokemon um but i also really like um games like say the spire which have like a sort of deck building combat ooblets has it as well um i like deck building combat stuff um that's like really interesting um to uh to do it was like a tamagotchi but for neopets oh gotcha okay oh god that makes sense that makes sense um so yeah it and then you can also there are also like you can uh you can do like farming and stuff um so yeah it's uh it's 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 cool to see um i i'm i'm a i'm a fan um so yeah the spirits that are following behind us are our spirits um this is our team um and then these are some wild spirits that we're gonna fight so i'll i'll use this to explain the combat um but yeah like i said it's deck building so each spirit has their own deck of cards that you can um you can add cards to remove cards from upgrade cards free early 2000s thing yeah that yeah tamagotchi meets neo i can yeah i can see it <laughs> yeah i was i was a i was a wee kip in uh, i don't ever say wee kip i don't know why i said that but i i was a wee kip in the 2000s <laughs> i was born in 96 so yeah um but that, but yeah I, I i get you though um so yeah, yeah, during combat you draw from uh, your the deck of your all your spirits together, um, and it'll tell you on the bottom whose card it is, so you know who's doing it. Game looks so cute. I might have to run off. Have a great time, everyone. Bye, awesome people. Thank you so much for coming along with the raid, Lainey. Um, this game is very cute, and I do recommend checking it out uh, if it seems like your kind of thing. Um, but take care. Have a wonderful rest of your day, rest of the weekend, um, and thank you so much for coming with the raid. Um, so yeah, we're trying to get their health down to zero. They have an armor thing, so we can use certain cards to remove the armor. Otherwise, our attacks won't do as much damage. Um, and we're trying to do that without our HP getting to zero. Um, standard stuff, standard stuff. Um, so yeah, we want to focus on removing armor. That's the most important thing. We have a lot of armor. This actually was a really good first hand. Not that I have the energy to do all of it, but um, I, we, it's a pretty good first hand. So what do we want to prioritize? Because removing it by three would, that obviously is more than removing it by two, <laughs> but it doesn't do an extra effect. So, hmm. Okay, so I've only got four energy. This is my energy, by the way. And you can see the energy cost on the card. So all of these cards cost one energy, but you can get other amounts. Um, but these are all one. So I can only play four of these cards. That's how that works. So we've got four, six, and seven in terms of the armor that we're trying to clear. So two, any two of our armor cards will clear the armor on Starcy. So that's something. Um, I think what I might do is... <sighs> yeah, I think what I might do is... Hmm... I think I'm gonna, I could do the two bashes on this one and then do a burn and a one, two on this one. Although this has the most HP, so I'd rather get the burn on float, I think. Yeah, okay. Tell you what I'm gonna do is burn on this one. Cause the armor stays, like it, 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 it will remove the armor like not permanently, permanently, but re it will remove it. Like, it doesn't build up each turn. So, have to drop off for a bit of, for a phone call. See you later, Priscilla. And Harold, thank you so much for being here and hanging out. Uh, I hope your phone call goes okay. If it's for a thing or if you're just chatting with someone, then I hope you have a good time. 
Um, uh, yeah, thank you so much. If I don't see you, then have a good rest of your Friday and rest of the weekend. Um, yeah, so let's do... Okay, so that's got 14 burn on it, because burn hits through... Um, yeah, tell you what, let's prioritize this one next, because this is hitting all three targets. That one's only hitting one target. So let's do it. Let's choose that way. So we'll do this. And then we can bash. I'm going to hit this one. Yeah. So yeah, that's Moonstone Island. That's not the there are other aspects to it, but that's the that's the gist of the combat essentially. So yeah. Hmm. Um enjoy, have a great weekend and night night, Darby. Thank you again for the raid. Um I hope you sleep well. Thank you for thank you for the raid again. I really appreciate it. Um and have a good weekend as well. Um, apply one rage. No, I don't want to do that. Oh, I don't have any... I don't have any block removal, which is unfortunate. I could fancy spin and grab some extra cards. That's probably a good shout. I could also just play flamethrower, and that will also draw me a card. Ten fire damage three times is a lot, even with the block. So that's probably worth doing. Uh... Yeah, 10 fire damage three times is actually seven fire damage three times, which is still, because if I hit this, it'll get reduced by three each of them. So, but seven fire damage three times is still more than 19. So that should still be enough to knock it out. Yeah, and I'll draw the card, which was foresight plus, which is not unuseful, because I was trying to draw... Oh, no, it is because I don't have any, I won't have any energy to play it unless I draw a free card. Hi, Legends! How you doing? Happy Friday to you. Welcome in. Um, yeah, this is not helpful, because unless one of them is a free card, which it, there are, I do have some free cards, but I don't have that many, so I don't think this is useful. So I'm just going to, rather than, because if I do it and I don't, it, it, it's just a waste, so I'm just going to tackle, even though five of the seven damage is going to get blocked, I'll just hit it for two. Yeah, that's fine. It's fine. It's not particularly useful, but it's better than potentially wasting it. So, also, it still has burn on. Yay, Friday! Exactly. Exactly. Happy Friday. Do you have any exciting weekend plans? Um, are we... Bash, bash, tackle should do it? Bash, bash, tackle. Ayo! You'll have to see it. So this is the teleporty thing that I haven't uh, I haven't been to yet. It's gonna take us probably to an island that we are not equipped for. Oh, actually, this is about. Oh no, yeah, it went it went up. Okay, so we gotta be careful. Loot bag. Hell yeah! I don't know why I'm still holding this lily pad. Also, how do I make it so I'm not holding anything? Can I do that? What if I scroll past the ah? <laughs> ah, hello. Uh, do you guys see got two rolling rights? Yes, I backed them. I backed um rolling rivers and rolling fields. They should be on their way to me at some point. I'm excited. I'm excited because I really like Cascadia. Hopefully play some board games. That sounds like a good weekend plan. Where's oh there they are. Hello. I found you. Have you tried my trail mix? It's mini marshmallows and nuts and crap. <laughs> Delightful. I don't have any other memory shards, but we'll just talk to the magic man. Hello, magic man. I hope you're doing well. Um, I don't have any... I don't know what makes a good gift in this. I don't... Uh, I don't know how to tell. Do you want this stone fruit? Oh, okay. Yeah, yes. It, seemingly... Okay. Wait, you have a shop. I forgot. Alright, so... I can buy some, some fancy cards for my, uh... My spirits, potentially. Booster pack. I knew you liked Cascadia, so I had to mention it above, just in case you didn't know. Yes, I appreciate that. I appreciate it. Um, 
yeah, I uh, we backed them, so they should be on their way to us, which is exciting. I like Cascadia, and I like a Rollin' Right. Not that I've played that many, but I do like a Rollin' Right. Discard one Bash card from your hand, gain one energy. Well, that's interesting. And it, but it, and it retains. It stays in your hand. Um, hmm. Because I've got like 4k gold. I haven't really been spending my gold on a whole lot yet so far this game. So I could buy another 1-2. Because those are always useful. Because they deal damage and remove armor. Um, Shuffle three random psychic cards into your draw pile and reduce their cost to zero. Shuffle three random psychic cards into your draw pile. That's interesting. Every game that feels like a roll and write but isn't one is the Guild of Merchant Explorers. Do you know, I think I've heard of that, but I, I, I can't quite remember what it is necessarily. Is it the one with the little animals? I'm, I might be getting it mixed up with a different game. Um, hmm. Do I want any of these things? That's interesting. What, how does it work if you use a card that's not of the type of your thing? Does it get, like, reduced? I don't know. I've never, I've never had that. I've never seen that. But maybe. You know? I don't know. Choose one of five random cards to add your hand. Discard the rest. Choose one of five random cards to add to your hand. Discard the rest. So does that mean that they... All five of them would end up in my deck, and one of them would end up in my hand? And then they'd be dis... It, the... I think. That's what I make of that. And the fact that it exhausts as well would imply that I just get five cards. That feels like a... Hi, Smilky! Was eating pizza at the time, but I think the icons on the shards show what they scale with. See, that kind of makes sense, but then I was confused because it had the feather, which I thought was speed, but it wasn't a bash card. But that would make sense. How are you doing, Smilky? I hope your pizza is good also. What kind of pizza are you having? Um... But that, that kind of makes sense, because that is what the symbols are. So that... And these are attacks, so they would... That's presumably power. So that, that makes sense. But yeah, I was just... Yeah. I kind of thought that, and then I got confused about the feather one. But, but, but yeah. That's fair. Thank you for letting me know. I appreciate that. And I hope you're having a good Friday. Uh, and thank you for lurking, also. Um, it's one where a card flips, and you place a wooden explorer... Your explorers take over the map, making villages, but you get special cards specifically to you on certain flips that are amazing. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't think I've played it. Um, I also haven't played the one that I was thinking of, to be fair. I've just seen, like, the... Just seen the stuff for it. Um, but that's fair. That's fair. So it's got, like, roll and write vibes, but it's not a roll and write. Do I want any of these? I don't know. My brain is so, like, tired and foggy at this point. I can't, I can't make any decisions. Oh. I don't know. Because it's coming up on supper time. I'm good ahead. Pepperoni, nice. Been uh, been nice hanging out here. Thank you for Chill Friday stream. Thank you so much for hanging out. I'm glad it's been good vibes for you. Um, and I appreciate you. I appreciate you being here. But I can't. I can't think. I don't know if I want any of these. I don't know if I want any of these. I'm a little bit intrigued by this one because uh, it's psychic. No, I'm not gonna buy any. I'm not gonna buy any. All right. So they're levels. Level 17? That's too strong. That's too strong for me. What's on this island? Is this... This is the one I... That's where I teleported from, right? Where are we? We're over here. Yeah. This is... Mm, this is too strong for me. I'm a little bit intimidated. I should... Oh! Ah! I should have my warp whistle ready to go. So I can warp back to Moonstone Island. Um, shh, no, shh, it's fine. Okay, it's fine. They didn't come after me. Everything's fine, because the sun's setting. It's 640. Oh my god, treasure. Ayo. I could be gathering all of these things. A gate! Oh my god. Wait, it didn't gather the things. Here we go. Okay, gate. Had to make sure I was pressing the right thing so I didn't accidentally warp home. All right. Feature Spirit to remove a card from their deck. Feature Spirit to upgrade a card. Feature Spirit to add a new card. Now, I, I, I don't think I've ever taken the study ones. Because you get new cards when you level up. And you can buy cards from the wizard all the time. So, I, well, not all the time. Because you got to find the magic man. But, 
I don't think I've ever taken study when offered a talisman. Um, remove a card or upgrade a card. Hmm. I probably have some of these in storage also that I haven't used yet. Always enjoy the Haley Good Vibes here. Oh, Legends, thank you for saying that. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Um. Hmm. Ah, I don't know. I can't, I can't think of a particular candidate for either of these. I'm sure there are some. I just don't know what exactly, which, like, which one specifically. I'm going to take the upgrade. I'm going to take the upgrade. <gasps> oh. These spirits are too strong for me. <gasps> that spirit's also going to be too strong for me. Okay. Ah! Just avoiding all the spirits. It's fine. Everything's fine. Oh, we're at the edge of the island. Okay. Should we just teleport back? Yeah. Here we go! <laughs> okay. Um, now. Uh, I've got all this energy. Should we, like... Oh, it's Friday night. Do we think there's gonna be, like, a bunch of people, like, in the tavern? Maybe? Maybe? We can go, like, say hi to people. I haven't really been... This game looks cute. And it has cards. I might need it. Yes, it's got... It's it's deck building. It's deck building combat. Um, It's really good. I recommend it. Have you talked to Paolo today? No, I haven't, in fact. Yeah. Uh, come talk to everybody. I could be giving gifts, but again, I don't really know what, like, a good gift would be, so... Oh, well, Ophelia just said that... She loves spring flowers. I wonder if I give her a uh, flax flower? Oh, yeah! Rowan, hello! Um, but yeah, I, I really like Moonstone Island. I really recommend it. It's, um... It's, uh, it's, it's very good. Very good. Um, particularly if you're into deck builders. I'm just here to I'm just here to talk to everybody. Fridays are your favorite? Well, happy Friday to you then. Here's uh ah, there we go. I've killed for a cup of coffee. It's oh what? It's 20 to 9 at night. Oh my goodness. Goodness gracious. Now I already spoke to Cleo, yeah. And here's Paolo. Hello. Hope you're not staying out too late. No? No? I spoke to everyone. Yeah, well, at least I spoke to everyone who's here. I don't remember who's in the town, to be honest. That's okay, though. All right, now let me get a tool out, and then I can, like, collect some materials. Wait, are these the trees I'm not supposed to chop? Deck builders is my name. <laughs> <laughs> not really but it should be nice since i have it should be since i have so many i mean it, can you get it changed look i've got like no stuff up here anymore so i've chopped it all down i'm just using the last of my stamina i mean i refilled my stamina like several times in the little in the little baths which i probably didn't need to do but it's fine it's cool where's my hammer that's what you use to get rocks is hammer Classic. Neum. Okay. Legends of Builder Sam. Yeah. I, yeah, right. I can see it. I can see it. <laughs> you should do it. <laughs> but yeah, this one's really good. Um, I recommend it. It's like a nice mix of deck builders and, like, collect them all creature stuff. So, great for me. Great in my opinion. Um, but yeah, and the, um, it doesn't, it, it seems like it's been pretty forgiving in terms of the deck building. Like, it, it doesn't, like, it's not, like, too strict. Is it on Switch? It is, in fact, on the Switch. 
or is it coming to the Switch soon? It's on the Switch, I believe. Yeah, 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 it is. It's on the Switch. Um, they announced recently, in fact, it wasn't for a while, um, but they kept saying, like, that it, it was going to be added to the Switch. But it is, yes. I am 99% sure that it's on the Switch, and if it's not, then it is coming to Switch soon. <laughs> Uh, still hoping for them to add craftable talismans in future updates. Ooh, that would be cool. Yeah. That would make sense. Um. I'm in, um, 2,100 upgrade talismans. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> How are we doing for stamina? 36. Okay, that's okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, our, our character's gonna... Tell us that they're running low on stamina soon. That's okay. As long as we don't get to... Yeah, that'll do. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, here we go. Off to bed. To bed, to bed, to bed. That is a lot of upgrade talismans, though. But that's my barn. That's not what I want. I want to go home. Oh, wait. I should sell some stuff. Uh, Yeah, this is for selling. Yeah. That's an egg. I don't want to sell that. Every time I catch a... Hollow... Uh, I realize I keep doing my debt. That's fair. Just recently bought a bunch of games on my Switch, so I have a lot to enjoy right now. Plus, I have a game I'm getting next month. Ooh. Do you want to share what any of your, uh, any of your games on that list are? If you want to. Um, that's fair, though. That's fair. Um, I have so many Earth Spirit eggs. Oh, my God. What the heck? Do I want... Sapling? Oh, cool. I can plant trees. That's useful. All right, to bed. Sleep for the night. Yeah, presumably there's an option to like take a little nap, which I've, I haven't realized, but. Okay, we're leveling up. Tame Adept, improve chance of successfully taming spirits or spirits and spirit drones sometimes drop eggs. I'm gonna do this one. That's fine, combat. Um. So we get Fleet Foot, 100% likely to succeed when fleeing from battle. Okay, so that could be potentially useful. 10% chance to upgrade cards when adding them to a spirit's deck. Increased chance of uncommon cards appearing during level up. I'm going to take the upgrade one. What does Close Call do, actually? 5% chance incoming decks do zero damage, but it'll get rid of Expert Cardomancer. Which increases the chance of secret cards appearing during level up. Secret cards. Recently got Monster Train, Gordian Quest, Right and Down, and Dice, Dice Folk, and Fantasy Life. Okay, I'm not familiar with any of those, but I hope you have a good time with them. Um, but heck yeah, for some new games. So yeah, these. So these when they're linked like this, it means that if you take the one on one side, you lose access to the other. Increases chance of secret cards appearing during level up. I was in chance incoming tax do zero damage. Hmm, I might just take that. Okay. Foraging. So there's points for fishing, there's points for scavenging. I haven't really been doing any fishing, so I'm not at, I'm just ignoring that for now. Spirits that are lower than your average spirit level run away from you. They have pretty percent chance that crops drop coins when cut down. I'm gonna take that. And it unlocks some of these things. Chests have a 5% chance, a plus 5% chance of dropping Moonstone. Nice. And then those are ones we can look at. Cool. Okay. Nice. Nice, nice. And here's our summary for the day. Yeah, we didn't do any dungeons. That, yeah, that's unsurprising. <laughs> I've only discovered 27 spirits, but I, I've only been to, like, Earth and Water Islands, pretty much, so. That's okay, though. Is it raining? Yay! I don't have to water my crops. That's so nice. I better feed my spirits. Feed my spirits. Here they are. Oh, yes! I got sea glass! Oops. Stop. Alright. We gotta feed the gang. Um, and I could... What is the brush symbol? Should I be... What does the brush symbol mean? Should I be... Should I be brushing my spirits? What is that? What does that mean? I don't know. 
I don't know. Oh, look, these cattails are done. Oh, wait, so I should cut them down so that I can get... No, wait, I just wanted to crop them. Because it just said when harvesting, so I don't need to do the seeds. I got confused. I confused myself. I confused myself, but it's fine. Um, I know it just saved, but let me save again. Yeah. Oh, it's double click. My bad. My bad. Um, because that's where we're going to finish up our Moonstone Island for the day. I know it was only a short little Moonstone Island thing. Um, that's my bad for overrunning on Little Guardsmen. Um, but it was just because it, it took so long getting through it, getting through to like a good stopping point. Um, but, uh, yeah, apologies. Apologies if you were really into the Moonstone Island. That's okay. We'll, we'll be back with more Moonstone Island soon, I promise. Um, because like I said, I've really missed playing it. 